No, what's on the end of your chair? Do you believe that that cross, that cross is your way of showing God or Christ that you love him? God did not command us to wear a cross. All right, I'm actually going to show you. The law says you're not supposed to have any idols. What profit is the graven in it? Put it, go ahead, put it out. Pull it out. Don't hide it now. You got it. And God know you got it. And now we all know you got it. See, that right there. That's got to go. That's having a cross in your house. It's actually considered an idol. What profit is the graven in it? Get that off your neck, bro. Isaiah, chapter 30, verse 22. Huh? And they think that's their way of showing that they love. They love this guy right here. You married? That's out of Boyfriend and girlfriend? That's fornication. That's wickedness. That's sin. Don't run out your bitch trying to try to please them ladies. You married? Because that's out of him. Keep his commandments. This Bible has one spirit, one truth, and the truth is the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are God's chosen people who need to keep his commandments. That's it. All right, so now what's on the end of your chain? Chain. What's on the end of your chain, man? A what? Yeah. All right, Habakkuk 2 and 18. Because we got to obey God rather than men. Now, I know, look, you got your, you got your little drip on, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's shining, and, and they usually attracted to shiny objects. But still, that right there, that's got to go. That's go ahead, read what you got. Habakkuk, chapter 2, verse 18. Uh -huh. What profit is the graven image? What profit is that to you? That cross. Okay, so do you believe that that cross, that cross is your way of showing God or Christ that you love him? In a way, let me show you how you show God you love him, okay? I'm going to show you. You got that? John 14, 15. I'm going to show you how you show God you love him. You might show somebody else. You might Yeah. Okay. Okay, so God did not command us to wear a cross. All right, I'm actually going to show you. The law says you're not supposed to have any idols. What you got around your neck is actually called an idol. All right, read what you got. This is how you show God you love him. Sis, make sure you hear this too. Go ahead. John chapter 14, verse 15. Uh -huh. If ye love me. If you love God, you love Christ, keep my commandments. Then you keep his commandments. It's not you. Like that post on Facebook. It's not you rock a cross or get it tatted on your arm. It's not going to church on Sunday. It's not how you show you love, show God or Christ that you love him. But you do what? Keep my commandments. Keep God's commandments and show him you love him. Now that Christ shows that you hate him though. Uh, get uh, Leviticus, get, get, get the law on idol. No graven images. How you doing, sis? So we going through the Bible, we showing laws. Now, what's on the end of your uh, uh, end of your necklace? It say love. Huh? It say love. Okay, so my brother got a cross on the bottom of his necklace. We got to show you that wearing a cross or having a cross in your house is actually considered an idol. All right? You're not supposed to have that. That's not how you show God you love Him by kissing the cross or idolizing people. Idolizing people. About tattoos? I don't feel nothing. I feel what this Bible says. You're not. You're not supposed to get tattoos. All right, but let me show you this idol. And then I got another law. Go ahead. Leviticus chapter 26, verse 1. Uh -huh. Ye shall have no idols, nor graven image. Now, that right there is an idol. You understand? It's an idol, bro. You're not supposed to have it. Right there, our people bow to it. Our people pray to it. And they think that's their way of showing that they love. They love this guy right here. We got that idol attached with this guy. You understand? Christ the black Messiah did not tell us that we were supposed to wear that cross. Christ the black Messiah told us if we love him, keep his commandments. Right. That right there was just a form of execution. Now, what if Christ died by lethal ejection? 
Would you have a syringe around your neck? Break it out. What if he was hung by a rope and he was lynched? Would you have a rope around your neck? This is not how we show God that we love him. He said, if you love me, keep my commandments. Isaiah 30, 22. If you love God, you love Christ, you're going to keep his commandments, right? Is that, is that, that's what the Bible said, right? You heard that? We all heard it. All right, so now this is one of, this is one of the laws. This is what we're supposed to do when we have items. All right, what's your name? Anthony? Okay, okay, right on. All right, Anthony, so check this out. Go ahead. Isaiah, chapter 30, verse 22. Uh-huh. Ye shall defile also the covering of thy graven images of silver. Those graven images or what, or idols. That's what you got right there, right? Put, go ahead, put it out. Put it out. Don't hide it now. You got it. And God know you got it. And now we all know you got it. He said he's supposed to defile that thing. I know it's not forever. We're about to prove it's not forever. Go ahead. And thy ornament of thy molten images of gold. Uh huh. Thou shalt cast them away and as a menstruous cloth. What's a menstruous cloth? Sis, what's a menstruous cloth? Come a little closer, I can't hear you that way. Something that's not going to be there? Something that's not... Hey, what's that? Oh, just look at it. You ain't subscribed yet? Look at this guy, man. You ain't right, man. Get the press the button. Press the button. What's the cycle? Uh, what's the menstrual cloth? The cycle of things happen. That's the napkin. All right, the tampon. Read that part again. Get down. So cast them away uh -huh. as a mistress cloth. Hey, bro, you got a tampon around your neck. Get that off your neck, bro. That's what the scriptures say. You're supposed to get that away from you. That's right. what, that's defiled. That's defiled, bro. Take it off. You ain't got to, you can go turn it into the pawn shop. Get you some money, buy you something else. Is that real gold? All right, bro, take it off your necklace, bro. If you love God, you're going to keep his commandments, right? Bro, cast that away from, get that off of you, bro. That's right. Right now, Anthony, take it off. Right now, for real, bro, take that off. That is an idol. There is no profit in that. Do you love Christ? He said, if you love him, do what? Now the phone ringing. That's the devil, bro. Hold on. It's your, it's your, your what? Oh, it's your girlfriend? Okay, that's your girlfriend. Cool, okay, okay. Get rid of the idol and get Hebrews 13 to 4. Hey, what about you? You married, bro? What about you, sister? Are you married? All right, right on. So, come on, take the idol off, bro. If you had a tattoo, all right, give me Psalms 119.59. I'm going to tell you what I'll tell you. Huh? You said it's not your belief? What's your belief, sir? So you love, you say you love Christ, right? So look, if you had a tattoo, because the Bible said what it said, right? We can't run from what Isaiah 30, 22 said. That's a tampon hanging around your neck, right? But now, huh? And now you got that song, if songs. All right, so look, if it was a tattoo, this is what I would tell you. And you, you let me, I'm about to come back to you. But look, if it was a song, I mean, if it was a tattoo, this is what I would say. Go ahead. Psalm, chapter 119, verse 59. Uh -huh. I thought on my ways uh -huh. and turned my feet unto thy testimonies. Uh -huh. I made haste and delayed not to keep thy commandments so if it was a tattoo i would tell you don't get no more tattoos you can't do nothing about having it now but it's not a tattoo it's an idol that you have on the bottom of your necklace let's take it off don't put it back on go sell it and buy you something better and then so hebrews 13 and 4 you got that because one more thing about loving god and sis sis you, you got it figured out what you want to tell me that you don't believe this in this bible okay hold that thought okay i'm about to get it from you go ahead Hebrews chapter 13 verse 4. Uh -huh. Marriage is honorable in all. So God said marriage is honorable in all. That is when you marry, that's honorable. 
boyfriend and girlfriend, that's fornication. That's wickedness, that's sin. Marriage is honorable and all. Read. And the bed undefiled. So when you get married and you and your, your wife don't get in that bed and get jiggy, it is what it is. That's honorable. It's undefiled. It's cool when you marry. Yes, when you're supposed to have sex. But, but, let me finish this, let me finish this, I got you. Whoremongers and adulterers. Whoremongers are men who love whores or love having sex with women that they're not married to. Whoremongers and adulterers. Go ahead. God will judge. God will judge you for that, brother. God will judge you for that. Whether it be one of y'all end up with a psychological issue, right? Y'all having sex and then breaking up. There's something called parabon. She can end up attaching you, then attaching somebody else, and be jacked up in the brain after being attached to so many people. Right. Y'all have seen that, right? You know what another judgment is? AIDS. Right. Uh, uh, herpes, crabs. Right. Because right. if y'all ain't locked in, y'all ain't got no paperwork, ain't no telling you. Might be like, look, you cool and all, but I'm still gonna do what I want to do. Bring Why are you tripping? That's because you ain't married, you ain't serious, you playing, you committing sin. You understand? So if you love God, you're going to do what? You're going to, okay, yeah, you're going to marry her because that's honorable, but you're going to keep his commandments all together. That's right. Now don't just marry her, you might want to fill her out, yeah, yeah, but stop yeah, having sex with her until then. What is a nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. It's Nation Nation.